So here we are on day six of my week-long venture with Windows 7, and I've already showed you a lot of the new features that I know about. So today we're going to explore a few more of the esoteric ones. So you're going to click Start, come down to the search bar, and type in PSR, and then just hit Enter on your keyboard, and it brings up this Problem Steps Recorder. Now this is kind of interesting. If you have a friend or a family member that wants to learn how to change their desktop background and, and talking to them via email doesn't give them the answers they need, you can run this little tool and then go through it yourself and send them the results. So we're going to try this. We're going to click Start Record. Then I'm going to right click on the desktop, go to Personalize, and say Change My Desktop Background right here and then click on an option and then click Save Changes close the window and I'm going to stop record. Now watch what this does. I'm going to call this, it's going to save it to the desktop, I'm going to call it background. After you do your recording it creates a zip file that you can email to any. So to see what that zip file is I'm going to click on it, extract it for you and we'll view it. So this one tells me, it says user left click on personalize. So see it didn't tell me to right click, but it says left click on personalize and took a screenshot. Then it tells me use your mouse to drag. And then it tells the user left click on personalization. And then left click desktop background. And then left click save changes. So kind of an interesting little tool that's new to Windows 7. You can add some comments in it as you're creating it, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Another tool that has been improved is the Windows Magnifier. If you click Start, All Programs, Accessories, and then Ease of Access, or again, if you remember to use the Super Bar, if you click Start and just type in Mag down here, the magnifier will automatically come up. I think that's the fastest way to launch programs. Now you can see that the magnifier came up and magnified as 200 percent. We can tell it to do a lens. So the full screen has always been there, but this is the part I think is nice for people who need it, is you can now make it a lens and it'll follow your mouse and just magnify whatever your mouse is on. So that's a much nicer implementation that I think should have been part of Windows for many, many years because a lot of people need to magnify text or other things on their screens. They can do that with the new magnifier in Windows 7. And lastly, in today's installment of 7 Days with Windows 7, I'm going to show you the new networking tools that are available. And if I go to the control panel, I could do that, or I'm just going to type in again using the bar, Network, and I can go directly to the Network and Sharing Center, or I can say Connect to a Network. So I'm going to go to the Sharing Center. This was something that was introduced to us in Windows Vista, and they have modified it a little. First off, it shows me my connections and where I am currently, but I can click here and say connect to a network, and it brings up and shows me my options for wireless. Or in the Network and Sharing Center, they have the new what's called Home Group, and this takes the place of all the previous networking options that have been available in Windows. If I click into here, and choose home group. If I'm using two Windows 7 machines I can come in here and say which libraries do I want to share and I can choose whether it's pictures, documents, what have you. And I can also share printers if I have a printer assigned to this computer. And once I click Save Changes it'll show up on all the other home group computers that are running Windows 7. I don't have two Windows 7 machines. I can't show you all of the new networking features. But it does look like it's going to be a lot easier to create home networks than ever before using Windows 7. And lastly, I did install a few older programs on the machine this week. They seem to have mixed results. Some worked, some didn't. Supposedly Windows 7 was going to be more compatible than Windows Vista was. That will be seen more as more people test it and when it gets out as a full-blown release later this year.